Hello everyone and welcome back on my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Georgia and I'm mainly reviewing fragrances for men and women. Today I'm going to talk about the fragrance that I'm not a big fan of and I'm not going to trash this fragrance because I know behind every fragrance whoever did this fragrance put an effort and a lot of work and hey who am I to trash it but it's not because it's a poor fragrance or a bad fragrance it's just not my type of fragrance and here it is Ellen Tracy by Ellen Tracy it's a Eau de Parfum and this is how the packaging looks like it is a fairly cheap fragrance but not my kind of not my cup of tea I do like the packaging though it is an interesting cap packaging you know I do have here 1.7 flare ounces Eau de Parfum and this is considered a amber and woody fragrance for women the notes are as follow in the top we have peach cinnamon plum galbanum hyacinth osmanthus green notes bergamot and lemon in the middle we have oris root rose aldehydes orchid ylang ylang freesia tuberose jasmine carnation and lily of the valley a lot of notes in the middle and in the base we have sandalwood musk cedar amber tonka bean oak moss and raspberry now like i said this is not my cup of tea it is not expensive so it's anywhere between 15 and 20 20 dollars Sometimes if you go at TJ Maxx, you find it for even cheaper. And um, it lasts about four hours. It's an Eau de Parfum. It's cheap. It lasts fairly decent for the price. You might reapply it. And I'm talking about the skin, not the clothing again. And I'm talking about my skin here. So if you think it lasts longer on your skin, then yes, it might be true. I'm not saying, okay, it doesn't last just because it doesn't last on my skin. So let's see how this one smells. I'm trying to describe it, even though, like I said, it's not my cup of tea. It starts a little bit fruity. To me, it has this too much of a blend of everything, and it's not really put together the right way, to be honest, or at least not uh, per my nose. And it has this, um, chemical vibe to it so not great ingredients or at least something goes wrong there i don't think peach and cinnamon and bergamot should be put together to be honest not in this mix at least so it starts out to be fruity but it's very aromatic it has this old school vibe to it the dry down though is really nice i do like it when it dries down at first i don't like it at all then dry it dries down like sandalwood vanilla cozy um vetivery kind it's a very i would say a little bit woody a little bit ambery at the same time dry down with a cozy note to it even though it doesn't have vanilla, I feel the vanilla in this fragrance in a dry down. Well, at least they don't say it doesn't have vanilla. Or maybe if it has, maybe it's a small portion. Definitely the tonka bean is nice in a dry down with the blend with the uh, sandalwood. But other than that, I don't like how it starts. Because it, I don't know how to associate this fragrance. It's like... I don't even know it's it smells like burnt incense but it's not the right incense at first and then the dry down goes really nice so the dry down is woody and powdery and again aromatic at the same time but at first this fruitiness mixed with this burnt incense it's not a nice combination 
but again this is my opinion so if you like this fragrance don't let me ruin your opinion or you know that's just my honest opinion and this video is not sponsored so this is ellen tracy by ellen tracy eau de parfum for women if you're into this kind of fragrances go for it this was a blind buy for me it was cheap and i said hey what the hell why not let's try it well it's probably my first um well let's just say not nailing it in this case even though i like the initial initially the notes not the first notes but the other notes you know in a, the blend of the notes anyways ellen tracy by ellen tracy eau de parfum for women my name is georgia thank you so very much for watching and see you in my next video